common denominator. All right, well, least common denominator is going to be one of everything that we have, right? So an x plus a 1 times an x minus a 3. That's going to be my least common denominator. All right, then the other thing I always asked you for was your exclusions, okay? Basically, your exclusions, what can x not be, okay? Well, x cannot be negative 1 because that would make that denominator 0. x cannot be 3, okay, because 3 minus 3 is 0. So x cannot be negative 1, x cannot be 3. So if I get those as answers, I know I have to throw them out. If I would get both of them, it would be a no solution, okay, that sort of thing. Now, on this, it's a solve. When it's solve and you've got the rational expressions, we do want the fractions to go away so that we can make it easier. So when I, again, multiply through by the least common denominator, all right, then that's when my fractions go away. So x plus 1 and then x minus 3. Whenever you multiply through by that least common denominator, that's what makes the fractions go away. So again, I'm not going to write it three times. I'm just going to distribute it. Okay, so when we distribute the first time, the x plus 1s go away. I'm left with this 4x and this x minus 3. So 4x times the x minus 3. And notice the fraction is gone. Do we want it to be? Then I'm going to distribute to the middle term. The x minus 3s are going to go away. I'm going to be left with the 2 and the x plus 1. All right, and then I never try to go ahead and distribute that too when I'm doing this. All right, because as you can tell, I make enough mistakes the way I'm doing it. So I try not to do too awful many steps in my head. All right, and then there's nothing to cross out here because this is a plain four. This is just two binomials. So I'm going to have the four times that x plus one and then the x minus three. All right, then once you get to here, this is just a bunch of algebra and you hope you don't screw up till you get to the end. All right, it should be relatively simple. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I may not do every step. I will give you the answer at the end, and then we'll try to show you where the mistakes are going to occur. All right, you're going to distribute here. So that would be a 4x squared minus a 12x. All right, distributing the 2 is not going to be a problem. 2x plus 2 for the most part. Okay, now what's going to create the problem is over here. Okay, people have a tendency to just do things in the wrong order or do it so that it makes it a little bit complicated. I don't know. I all, just my preference, I try to foil this first and then I distribute the four in later. Okay, just, I don't know, because I like foil, I guess, better. So I always foil first, x squared, and then that'll be a negative three and an x will give me a negative two x and then a minus three. I don't think I screwed that up there. Negative three and two, that should be fine. And then distribute the four. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this since we're on our way here. Four x squared, putting those two terms together, minus 10 x plus two, distributing the four. So four x squared minus eight x minus 12. Okay, and then right away, hopefully you can see that that 4x squared and that 4x squared is going to cross out, subtract it from both sides of the equation, and then we're just down to pretty much a two-step equation here. I'm this close, we might as well go ahead and finish it. Add 8x, add 8x. So those two things are going to cross out. Subtract 2, subtract 2. So those will cross out. So that's going to give me a negative 2x is equal to a negative 14. Yep, so x equals 7. And that's the answer I should have thought. So that's kind of good. All right. So the algebra here, like I said, that for the most part, this shouldn't be too bad. It's going to be this right here on this side. All right. You just foil first, then distribute that four, and you should be good.